So uh, Lojane uh, mentioned a concern of the the camera kind of curving at the end, um, and I think what's happening is you know there's animation on the aim. I'm just going to search in the outliner for if I type star camera star, it'll give me anything with the word camera in it, and that's just a faster way to find the camera. So. Um, you can see that there's a keyframe that ends on the last frame with the aim, which means the aim is moving all the way into the last frame. And, and the reason it appears to curve a bunch at the end is that if you look at the camera's animation um, in the graph editor, um, you see how like the motion of the camera, see how it flattens out at the end? Um, and so the actual camera is physically moving, you know, that is to say, not rotating, just the movement is really slowed down towards the end. But the the aim is still, here's the aim animation, the aim is still changing a bunch at the end. And so the combination of those two things is causing that. So what I'm suggesting to do is take this aim and, and move it back. I'm going to use, do that in the timeline. I'll shift click on this keyframe and move it back, you know, something like that, so that it's it's done moving, or I should say, well, the aim is done moving, which means the camera is done rotating first before it's done moving. Anyways, I think it'll make sense once you uh, look at it in the view. So, yeah, it's a bit abrupt there, which is why I might, um, I'm going to right mouse click and change this to clamped. Let's see if that flattened it out at all. The end, it did not. So let's just make these flat at the end. That might be too much, but, and in fact, that might even have solved the problem without having to move it back. But let's take a look. Okay, yeah, nice sort of straight, smooth ending and none of that curve at the end.